Chris Chan for kaijupup.com. I just got a new game for my Spectrum. Check it out. See, let's wait. Oh, let's go do something. We'll get a drink while it loads. And it takes ages. Ah, oh, Spectrum games, eh? Wow. This isn't a Spectrum game. What? I tricked you. What? It's Rock Bosch's Director's Cut DX on the PS4. Um, which is by TikiPod, who did Aqua Kitty um, DX a little while ago. And now they've bought their other PlayStation mobile game, Rock Bosch's, uh, to PS4 and PS Vita. We're playing that right now. Uh, this is just brilliant. I love this. Just the start. The fact that it starts off like a Spectrum game, and it even takes two minutes to load. Uh, one and a half minutes left. You can wait this out. You do get a trophy and an unlockable mini game if you actually wait for this whole thing. I'm going to hit X to turbo load here. There we go. And. Anybody who's. If you can hear that music in the background, anybody who has um, a nostalgia for Spectrum games would know. That the uh, the opening riff there clearly based off of uh, the Robocop music, uh, some of their state bit music of all time. Uh, but yes, so this is a tweaked, expanded, and kind of changed uh, version of, of Rob Bush's uh, on PS Mobile, which I played and enjoyed greatly. Um, it is a retro, nostalgic uh, shooter, but uh, in a European mold. This isn't going for a uh, NES feel, it isn't going for Super Nintendo or Mega Drive or anything like that. This is resolutely a Spectrum styled game. Um, down to everything, down to the fact that this screen is in 4x3. Um, down to everything like that. Um, and you can kind of turn off uh, render effects or screen zoom um, to kind of make it a little bit more old schooly if you want. There's scan lines in here by default and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and that's all cool. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, so this is uh, one thing that's not in the um, beta version. This is uh, solely on the PS4 version. So there was um, Aqua Kitty had a multiplayer mode that was solely on PS4, and there's this on. No, yeah, there's this in Rock Bushes as well. But I'm playing on my own here. Uh, sadly, I'll look into that a little bit later on on share play, but that's cool. Everybody can go in in a battle for honor between Queen Victoria, Charles Darwin, Lewis Carroll, and Ada Lovelace. This is lovely. Um, so yeah, you can kind of tell. The idea here is that it's uh, it sells itself as as welcome to the 80s, the 1880s. That is um, where there's mines on Mars. And um, I'm right at the start here. I did play a lot of the uh, original PS Mobile version, but we're going in cold uh, to the PS4 version here. Um, all right, here we go. There's the story here. Um, so it's sort of steampunky, everybody going up to, to Mars here. And uh, <laughs> a young, sexy Queen Victoria is going out to, to kick butt in space, uh, disguised in a top hat. Um, exactly, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. Really good, tremendous, lovely. And uh, here we go, wow, see? Um, cup of tea and some snacks, oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, wow. It's very much a Spectrum game, isn't it? Uh, down to the, you know, these sprites are kind of squares, there's colors overlapping, everything here. Um, which is tremendous in a way. It's lovely. People, there will be people that will go, what the F is this S? Um, but, you know, I, yeah, I think it's brilliant. I think if you enjoy the DVD, um, that was obviously, you know, very much more C64 oriented, um, but, oh cool, okay, but, uh, here, you know, it's, it's very, you know, even more lo-fi than that, uh, you kind of want to go the, through these levels and, and get snacks and things like that, but this is my spaceship hub here, 
um, and there's these unlockable arcade games, uh, four of them, um, which you can unlock in, in different ways. The Aqua Kitty one uh, here, oh, where did it go? Oh. Well, we saw it earlier on anyway, for some reason I can't get back to it. Um, but the, the Aqua Kitty deal um, I got for uh, getting that trophy. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing here. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah, the guy wanted to get cheese. Um, I gotta get all the snacks and then get the burgers. Hooray! Oh, it's a scone. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Lovely. Ah. Oh. Terrific. Oh no! We've been tricked! Yeah. Um, so we've been captured, now we must bust out in a twin stick shooter. But I don't have a gun. And then guards are on the scum break. So very uh, clearly, you know, it's not just a Spectrum styled game in terms of its art, but a Spectrum styled game in terms of its sensibilities of being extraordinarily British. Um, and very much about kind of these guys boshing rocks, guards on scone breaks, um, you know, us being in the 18th century, <laughs> you know, an 18th century future, and I'm Queen Victoria out to, to kick some rear. Um, you know, clearly, very, very British, uh, extraordinarily so. And this I like. I'm going to go and get my gun over here. Ryan. Okay. Hey, a trophy. And now I can totally brush rocks faster than any of these other people can brush rocks. So it's a twin stick shooter. Uh, you can play uh, with uh, one person. So I'm playing here. There's also on the uh, on the PS4 version we've got um, a co-op dealio here. Um, but again, going back to that spectrum sensibility, um, this is kind of, this isn't a twin stick shooter in the traditional twin stick shooter Geometry Wars style sense that we're used to, um, so in that you've only got eight way uh, shooting in, instead of, eight way shooting and eight way movement as well, um, instead of full analog 360 control that you might expect. Yeah. Crap. Oh yeah. Hooray. D. I want that cheese. How do we get that cheese? Where's the key at? I can't see a key anywhere. Can you, viewer, listener? Nope. Hmm. I wonder if I can get back from here later on. Or maybe I need to take out all the rocks. Maybe that's what I need to do. Let's bosh rocks. I'm taking, out, taking care of business here. Oh well, never mind. Okay, well, let's move on. Up the left. Hooray! Uh, you get extra little bits, extra little, um, you know, things, bonuses for collecting all the snacks on the level, but I didn't get that. No. And um, clearly, as you can see down the bottom here, up to four uh, weapons over the course of the game. I only have one at the moment. Um, Yeah, okay, you activate the turrets, yeah. This does get, I mean, it's fairly cognitive. It isn't a, um, thank you. It isn't like an, an all out uh, blast everything you see, although there is, there's, that's a part of it. Um, but there's, there's kind of puzzling involved in terms of how best to approach each stage. Um, what? Oh, cocaine in the bin. Okay. Uh, the fact that the you move fairly slickly, but not super, super, super duper fast, and the bullets, the projectiles that come at you, uh, kind of move fairly slowly as well. Um, and honestly, the the five hits, especially well, certainly in the the mobile version, PS mobile version that I played, uh, those five uh, little hits of energy, uh, they go extremely quickly. Um, I want that key. But, 
And the trick is, as soon as I get that, As soon as I get that uh, door open, those people are going to come flooding out. So it is uh, kind of slower paced. It's a little bit more puzzly um, than a lot of other twin six shooters. And that's cool because there are uh, a lot of twin six shooters kind of about uh, these days. And um, it's nice to play something that's a little bit more sort of well thought out. I think you, you kind of see a lot of... Uh, okay, it's top down, you control it with, with two sticks, it must be kind of gauntlety or alien breedy, and it's not really, there's, there's much more kind of uh, thinking going on here, which uh, is good, I like it. Um, this time, I want that scon. Yeah, that's gone. I'm going to free that guy in the thing, so I can choose to leave the level right away, but I'm going to push ahead here. Um, I mean, there are the target times to aim for. You can see the par time in the corner of 1 minute and 10. Um, so there's that to go with, or you kind of want to get all the snacks, or you want to do both at once. But it's tricky to get all of everything. Um, I guess I'm going to get... Break all these rocks? There's a key in there somewhere. Ah, hey. Cup of tea. I got all the snacks. Okay. Lovely. Here we go. Ah, there's that kind of aspect to it, um, you know, but it's all about being completist and um, doing all that and now the zombies have shown up and uh, caused even more hassle and these will pick you apart kind of very very quickly so you kind of want to slowly slowly advance through. Uh, but this is very much, as opposed to Aqua Kitty uh, earlier on, which was very much kind of a, a high score chaser game. Uh, this is less about that and more about kind of um, you know, getting as far as you can on your own. And if you're the competitive type, then there's the, the battle mode for you. And that kind of thing kind of appeals more to my sensibilities, I think, is um, picking your way through almost a, a more of a narrative experience um, rather than just going for high scores. Uh, cool. A little exclamation points over the guards' heads, uh, kind of a nods to, you know, they, obviously there's, there's nods to other 8-bit games and other 16-bit games, there's more kind of uh, a Metal Gear, original Metal Gear kind of reference than anything else. Ah, there we go. Ah, nice. Helpful. But not much. Uh, I'm probably going to switch that. Not much ammo for that one. Uh, so yeah, as, as I remember, the game is full of stuff like this. Knowing... <laughs> Okay, I've got to be very careful and plan out my next move every time because as soon as I grab that key, I'm going to get absolutely rushed. So, I got to... Okay. And reasonably well taken care of. Hooray. Um, there's no way I'm getting the part times for some of this. Um, I think you really kind of just have to... Play each level several times and we'll just get the par times. I don't know whether uh, you kind of have to get to get a perfect score, you have to get the par time and all the snacks um, at once, or whether you can just uh, do this in separate uh, tries. But I want to get another snack here. There must be. Hmm? Hmm. I thought it would be hidden away. It's not there. Hmm. That's a nice impression. Oh, beats me. On we go. Man. Yeah, that's a lot of things. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like, I, re I just really enjoy A, the, the tweeness, A, the, the spectrum throwbacks, uh, the, as I said, go down, all the way down to being uh, in 4x3. Uh, on the screen and not even in widescreen. Um, but I think it's 
you know, it's got more to say for itself rather than just being a, a throwback. It's a legitimately uh, good game in its own right. Um, just in terms of its really punishing difficulty and the fact that it is slow paced and kind of considered and measured, um, I think is, is really, really positive. Um, it's not much to look at, of course, although much as with Aqua Kitty, um, this does render at 4K um, on the PS4 GPU. Obviously 1080p is all the PS4 can put out, but if you get this on Steam, uh, the Steam version is 4K ready, so if you have a 4K monitor you could play this in 4K. It was like, well, I'm playing a Spectrum game in 4K. Um, it's, that's kind of the ultimate in graphic or hipsterism, I guess. Um, you know, should have an, an optional 240p mode, I think, really. Oh yeah, right, so here there's there's generators. Uh, so that's going to keep on spitting out enemies as we go. Uh, but I bet there's snacks hidden up here. I don't want to get all the snacks. Oh, what's a snack up there? Ah. Oh. Um, get rockets as well. So, I want to use those judiciously. Yeah. To get that. And then, and then. Oh no, that was foolish. What a waste. What a waste. I don't see this turning out well. Okay. Cheese. Get the cheese. I'm over encumbered. Drop the pies. Okay. 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 So this really does become almost, um, almost, almost Hotline Miami ish in a way. Uh, but not, but different. But kind of, um, it's about being in a safe spot and then using that to think about where do I need to go next? What do I need to do next? Um, and then executing on your plan. Because I think if you don't have a plan, you're going to get killed pretty damn quickly. Um, okay. Destroy the terminal. Oh no. Oh crap. No, no! Yeah! let's blow up this terminal. And that let all the zombies out, lovely. And it turned the turrets on. How delightful. Oh no. Okay. Now up here, go there, shoot that, go that up. Now everything's coming after me. Um, oh, of course. Alright. So it's always going to be. <laughs> because this is a video game, the last terminal I get to. The last terminal I get to will take out the turret. Um, let's try one more go at this before we sign off. Um, yeah, this is going to be one of those that I think probably only appeals to a very full, very small audience or a very small segment of an audience. Uh, it's just lucky for me that I'm part of that small segment, I think. <laughs> you know, um, but once kind of a very specific kind of nostalgia that not many games cater to and um, it's it's really cool to, to see it from an artistic sort of design perspective but um, you know I mean also to see that to see this being completely borne out I think if you um, if you saw any of Aqua Kitty, that was kind of, it had a lot of retro sensibilities and like its core art was very kind of um, Amiga-ish or 16-bit 
European 16-bit styled. Um, but there's no way I'm going to do this, is there? I am boned. Yeah. Um, but that, like, you know, I, th I think Aqua Kitty was still clearly a game that, that couldn't exactly be done on um, original hardware. But it's almost like, I c you know, seeing this, I could very easily believe that this was a Spectrum game. Um, you know, it, it is almost a thing where, uh, you know, I could conceive having a, a somewhere um, in the developer's office here, having a, um, a tape version of this <laughs> and having it legitimately be playable on the Spectrum, probably with the same two minute loading time uh, that the game sort of pretend has. Am I doing any better here than last time? I'm not exactly convinced that I am. Uh, okay. Screw the snacks. Screw the snacks. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Get. Yes. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna peg it here. <laughs> we can do it. Darwin! <laughs> New species of zombies. Cool. Um, so all your 19th century favorite historical stars are here. Um, I imagine new levels as well, maybe? I really need to check the press release for that kind of thing. Um, but a lot of this uh, so far is the same as I remember from the mobile version. Uh, you have to deal with these troll machines that will kill you instantly and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, an awful lot of, of puzzling. It's, it's not a completely mindless experience and that's rad. <coughs> Um, and yeah, there's battle modes in here as well, and all of that good stuff. Um, so, and leaderboards for stuff. Um, hopefully I should be in the top. Should be near the top. Should be near the top. 19th. There you go. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all kinds of goods, and I'm not particularly erudite today as, as I say that. Um, but Super In-Flight Arcade. Hmm. Oh, but I need coins and things, don't I? Okay. So, there you go. So you unlock uh, extra mini games and things like that. If you get perfect all the snacks on certain levels, then you get these little mini games to unlock as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, and, yeah, I like this. <laughs> it's Rock Pushes Director's Cut DX. It's on uh, PS4 and PS Vita as well. And there's Crowd Save and all that goodness uh, too. Um, it's kind of the bad kind of crowd save where you have to manually remember to upload and download yourself as opposed to it all being automatic. Um, but, you know, hey, you win some and you lose some. Um, and yeah, this comes recommended for me if you like old stuff and new stuff and new old stuff. Um, and you like remembering the Robocop music as you listen to the title music. Chris John for KojiPop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.